one big thing. The first night we did this show, we had on a very special guest who sat right here. For years, Dan Patrick sat right here on sets in these buildings and helped make ESPN what it is. The place you allow into your homes on a daily basis. The people you'll probably never meet but know as your friends. I wanted Dan to come back for a lot of reasons, mostly as we embarked on a new version of the show he elevated. It was important to me to have an outward show of respect. Also, he hadn't been back since he'd left, and I wanted to make that right as much as sitting here could do that. He gave me his 15-year Disney trophy, and there that heavy thing has sat ever since. It's too wonky to get rid of. Thanks, Dan. Tonight, a much more important outward show of respect to a man I admire so very much, even more so now. Today on his show, Dan shared details of medical issues he's been dealing with for years, the treatments he's been going through recently in the hopes it might ease debilitating pain in joints throughout his entire body. Dan shared that the light chemo, as he described it, leaves him with memory loss, brain fog. And let me tell you something about being on the air for three hours a day doing radio, something I did with Rosillo. It's the most challenging thing you can do in this business because radio is a blank canvas. You've got to fill it every single day with your words and your thoughts, which requires your mind to be razor sharp. Dan's brilliant in that medium, has been for years, but all he or any host has to rely on to do that job is his or her brain. You need immediate recall and focus. And if your mind and your memory is betraying you as you are live on the air for three hours a day, that's a terrifying thought. And it takes a level of courage and vulnerability to share specifics about your personal life. But the beauty of radio is that connection with your audience, which allows for it in a way nothing else does in our business. Dan's got a massive and loyal audience built over decades of doing this so well. And that audience wants to know, how you doing, how you feeling? You can choose to let them in, but it clearly took him years to get to the place he got to today where he was ready to do that, and it was riveting. One of those moments where it felt like I didn't blink or move, I just listened as one of the legends in our business let down his guard and shared details that would have been far easier to keep private. Respect as well to Paul Pabst, Fritzy, Seaton, and McLovin, his loyal crew of producers, his team, the Danettes. They've got his back to the end of the earth, and that's a beautiful thing. Ours is a small business, and maybe it's surprising to some of you to learn that most of us are friendly with the folks in the other shops, but with those guys, it's more than cordial. Dan has always been supportive and helpful to me, and for a guy who was an OG here, that means more than I can say. And there's no way to repay it, but it's still important to say publicly what I shared privately earlier today. Love and respect, DP, and as your treatments continue, our wish for you, only good things. Get well, stay that way.